Hey guys, Justin here. We're here to talk about the patrol state. Let's open up our NPC sample, the behavior component. Here on the right side, we have patrol settings. Again, we have universal options for each of the behavior states here above, and unique properties for that specific state down below. The patrol route is the reference to the patrol route actor. The patrol route is the actor that dictates what path the AI will follow. Patrol type has three types, single, meaning it will go through the spline and then stop once it reaches the end. Looping means once it reaches the end of the path, it will go directly to the beginning of the path. Back and forth means the AI will go from end to end of the path while following all the points in between. Now if we go back to our level, Let's go and drag in our BP patrol route. Now the way this works is if you can see this endpoint right here, click on it. Now to create a new point of the path, hold Alt key and then drag this arrow. This will create a new point in the path. So continue dragging it out as you so desire. That looks about good. Next thing, select our NPC sample in the level. Right here, on the right side, we can select our behavior component. Go to the patrol settings and in the patrol route, select our BP patrol route as the reference. Now, select set the initial behavior to patrol. This way, our AI starts to patrol. Hit play. As you can see, the AI follows the path. Now since it's set to single, he stops at the end of the path. If we wanted to, let's say, change that, go to the patrol settings again, and let's select back and forth. Hit play. So the AI will go through the path, and then he goes back back and forth. And that's the patrol state.